In this video, I'll show you how to use the discriminant to determine the value of k in a quadratic with one real root. I want to start off with a quick definition. The discriminant is the part of the quadratic formula underneath the square root symbol, and it looks like this. The discriminant tells us whether there are two solutions, one solution, or no solution at all. And if your discriminant is equal to zero, you end up with one real root. If it's greater than zero, you have two, and if it's less than zero, you have none. The first question asks, the function 4x squared minus 4x plus k is equal to zero, and it has only one real root. What is the value of k? I'll start off by defining my a, b, and c coefficient. My a coefficient is four. So I'll write down a is equal to four. My b coefficient is negative four and my c coefficient is positive k. Next, I'll substitute these values into my discriminant, where I end up with negative 4 to the power of 2 minus 4 times our a, which is 4, times k. And this has to equal to 0 in order for this to be true. Remember, your discriminant has to equal to 0 for there to be one real root. And we're looking for a value of k that will make the left side and the right side the same. So what we do is we simplify everything on the left side. Negative 4 to the power of 2 is positive 16. And negative 4 times 4 is negative 16. k is equal to 0. I'm going to bring this 16 over to the left side where I have negative 16. And on the left side, I have negative 16k. Solving for k here, we divide both sides by negative 16 where we have k is equal to positive 1. So in order for there to be no real roots, our k value here has to equal to 1. We'll use the same methodology for question 2. So once again, our a term is 2. Our b term has the coefficient of 4. And our c term is k. Using the discriminant formula for there to be one real root, this becomes 16. This becomes negative 8k. Solving for k now, we end up with negative 16 on the right side and negative 8k on the left side. Therefore, k is equal to negative 16 over negative 8. And this is equal to 2. So in order for there to be no real roots for this quadratic, k must equal to 2. And so there you have it. That is how to use the discriminant to determine the value of k in a quadratic with one real root.